Despite the industry's best efforts to argue the contrary, you still see this stuff on the news several times a year. Video games encourage violence. Ban GTA. I made a sign as well. Go home. Games have age ratings for a reason, and if a parent is letting their impressionable six-year-old play the hostage level from Modern Warfare 2, then they're the problem, not Infinity Ward. Having said that, there are reasons to ban a game other than simply it will make Billy want to shoot the cat. So whether it was a banned game's abhorrent content that left us speechless, or just a bizarre reason that a totally innocent title was taken off the shelves, there have been many occasions where we've been left completely shocked by a banned video game. I'm Peter from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 banned video games that shocked the world. Number 10. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 Banned in Chihuahua, Mexico There aren't many times I get to use the word Chihuahua in a non-dog context, so I'm going to embrace this opportunity. In an unusual move, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 was subject to a ban within a specific state, rather than an entire country. The governor of Chihuahua accused the game of stereotyping the locals and thus deemed it antagonizing, while the mayor of Juarez, Chihuahua's largest city, even claimed that the game would scare off tourists who would otherwise be happy to visit a country with five of the world's 50 most murderous cities. Go figure. Number 9. The entire God of War series banned in Saudi Arabia. Come on Saudi Arabia, it's God of War. Monsters, viscera, sexy beard. What's not to love? Well, to be fair, one of the main reasons this series is banned there is the use of the word God in the title, which is a religious thing, so fair enough. But there were some other objections too, specifically the presence of interactive sex scenes, partial nudity and sexual themes. I'd be tempted to call that justified, but then Saudi Arabia also banned Pokemon trading cards in 2001 for allegedly promoting Zionism. So you know, maybe they're just a bit tetchy. Number 8. Football Manager 2005 Banned in China How on earth does a game like Football Manager get banned anywhere for any reason? Some sort of cheat code that makes a photorealistic streaker dash across the pitch mid-game? Well, no, actually. China banned Football Manager 2005 because the original build of the game recognised Tibet as a separate country. Can of worms? Meet can opener. Sports Interactive decided that the best way to remedy this issue was to simply keep quiet and change it. Number 7. Battlefield 3 Banned in Iran I can think of worse reasons for a country imposing a ban when the game in question depicts the fictional invasion of their own capital city by American troops. Battlefield 3 found itself in Iranian hot water upon its release, with many stores refusing to stock it even before the official ban was put in place. Intense simulated gunfights at Tehran's Grand Bazaar are not the sort of thing to be enjoyed by citizens of a country whose real-life relationship with the USA was all already wobbly at best. Number 6. EA Sports MMA Banned in Denmark No, no, stop it. The Danish don't want you to knee each other in the face. You're encouraging violence. Stop. Kids will copy you. At least that's what you think might be the reason a mixed martial arts game could be deemed inappropriate for sale. However, it's actually all about energy drinks? In Denmark, energy drinks are deemed unhealthy and so advertising for them is prohibited. This meant that MMA was for the banhammer in the Daneland due to its rather garish sponsorship deals with Rockstar, which of course here at whatculture.com is just as good as any other taurine saturated energy drink. Number 5. Homefront Banned in South Korea Homefront didn't make the best of first impressions when its TV marketing campaign, which consisted of this imitation news footage, was taken seriously by many non-gamers who thought the USA had actually gone to war with North Korea. THQ then got into trouble with environmentalists after releasing 10,000 balloons as a publicity stunt for the game, most of which ended up in the Pacific. That's a collar tug. The final mishap occurred when the game was outright banned in South Korea in order to avoid worsening diplomatic tensions with their neighbours. In addition, Japan insisted on a heavily edited release, which replaced all references to the enemy nation with the phrase, that place to the north. As a Yorkshireman, I'm very offended. Down with home front. Number 4. Rape Play Banned in Argentina Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. I mean, do you actually need any more information than a game called Rape Play was banned? Okay, here's what I've got. In Rape Play, you play as a chicken, which is apparently a term in Japan for men who publicly grope women. Your godforsaken targets in the so-called story mode are the mother and two daughters of the Kiryu family, one of whom is underage. I really have no desire to give any airtime to the disgusting details, but essentially you stalk and rape all three women in various ways and then your character dies at the end. Then you unlock a bunch of bonus game modes, each more repulsive than the last. This should have been axed from day one of development, never mind banned after its release. Number three. Manhunt 2 banned in various countries. Still illegal in South Korea, Germany, Malaysia and New Zealand, it was once also forbidden from sitting on shelves in Italy, Ireland and the UK, making it surely one of the most banned games ever published. No prizes for guessing why. Manhunt 1 made a name for itself even before release for being excessively violent, a reputation fueled by game censorship activist Jack Thompson who wrongly believed the media's claims that it had inspired a real murder. Unsurprisingly, when a sequel was published, countries across the globe quashed it for gross 
gross, unrelenting and gratuitous violence, and Thompson finally got a good night's sleep. Number 2. The Guy Game, banned in the USA Are you a guy? A man? Are you a man? Play the Guy Game, a game for men. We took a camera crew and a very annoying host to the South Padre Island Spring Break celebrations and filmed a bunch of women taking their tops off. Progress through the game to see less censorship and more boob by correctly guessing whether these just the objectified broads were able to answer a trivia question or were just too stupid. Aww. Get it while you can though, because this game is going to be banned four months after release when we're sued by one of these breezies who was actually underage when she took her kit off for our cameras. Oh my god, f you and this misogynistic pile of profanity. People are awful. And number one, Postal 2, banned in New Zealand. Postal 2, or Postal Squared, a game that basically allows you to walk around being a psychopath over a seven day period, did not just get banned in New Zealand, it got its butt shut down. It was flagged for no less than its gross abhorrent content, urination, high impact violence, animal cruelty, homophobia, racial and ethnic stereotypes. Basically, Hitler's to-do list. To be fair to the developers though, you can actually complete most of the game without being violent. Indeed, its tagline was, remember, it's only as violent as you are. That wasn't enough for the New Zealand government though, and to this day, owning the game can land you with a $50,000 fine or even 10 years in the slammer. Take it from me, it's hard to fit in with hardened criminals when your answer to the question, what are you in for, is pissing on someone in a video game. And that's our list. Do you know any others? We'd love to hear about it, so tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Peter from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.